Hello, fat puppies of the world, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Here's our shoot, because I didn't get a chance to show that off last time. And our fire axe as well. Pretty snazzy. We're at the end of the street on the other side of the hotels and such to visit the last round, like LaCroix wanted us to do. So, and Strauss, I think. No, look, no, Strauss just mentioned the Anarchs. This is where all the Anarchs hang out. They're called Anarchs, not Anarchists. I'm not sure why. It's because they're vampires, I guess. So that's the only reason you need. But it's cool music and stuff, and then there's there's Jack. Hmm, I didn't I, I didn't get to do much sightseeing. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'll be too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Damn straight. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive. Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? Oh yeah, sub zero style. <laughs> <laughs> I ran to nines. Oh, it was a cutscene. Don't don't ask me. Why does he keep helping me? Well, well, he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's a, he's got a thing for the little guy. Alright, Jack, well, We'll we'll talk to you later. We got some questing to do in this set. Hey man, you got yellow eyes, so shut up. Uh, funny is nines around here. Act up again? What do you mean, asshole? You got a few minutes. I'm looking for work. Oh, oh, oh! She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. Cause all fun and games is what a vampire sugar daddy start calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shades so hard. Oh, Patty. Doesn't she understand he's gone? She'd been told he was dead. Don't listen. His ass again loud. Don't make a scene and get us all some real heat. What a bitch. Alright. What do you want me to do? Just cross the line. Only time that mouth ain't blind is when it's sucking vampire blood. Or sucking something else. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? Alright, ski ski. We got this. I'll, uh, anything for my anarch brethren. Right. Have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's silent. Got it, Holmes. Yep, so there's that. There's also two more people upstairs. First one is this lady. This fine, fine woman over here. She's pure lady. Etiquette and everything. What are you talking about? Jack? No, Jack's downstairs. I'm, I'm Bill Bro. Alright. I'll show him some some thanks, not you. As long as you're a tool for some thief, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. But I said a few words. Kate, hear me. Camarilla elders? The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight is being invention? <laughs> you're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Mm-hmm. I make my own thing. <sighs> That's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like? Well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws, like it or not. Hmm, is there a point? You need to start listening, or you're gonna wind up just like your sire. Got it. Who, who the hell are you? I'm Damsel, grandmother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Croix was in. Oh, Damsel. Alright, I don't know LaCroix, but I'm cool with nines. Hey, Maybe you should see a little more. Tell me what a play bear is. Oh, 
How do you get rid of one? No, I actually haven't. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? The plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Sorry, real quick, what kind of logic would a human have to put vampires and disease together? Like, oh, that dude has hemophilia, and so does that dude vampires. It's vampires. Okay. Alex, help me out. Where do I start? Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll go check it out. I lost ground. Bye, damsel. So she basically just gave us the same quest that Strauss gave us last time. Up. Good. Here's what I got to tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than me and I like you. you got a right to know the score. In Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what blocks in line. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. I'm looking for a little power than those who get sired for their own scheme and so on. But we have some some real power. All right. Well, aren't you part of the camera? Well, you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be, which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit man ever heard. You were at the tr wait. No, okay, so what are you all about? The way of this world during the depression. Wow, so he's like 80 years old. The country. But did they suffer? No, the little people suffer. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite. Keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An honor free state. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. I would totally be an anarch if I was a vampire. Damn straight. Alright, another fan of the prince, huh? Alright, well... We tried meeting with the camera. Right Straight. All right. Well. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beat down. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Loyal to disloyalty. That's good. I like that. I like you. All right. Any advice you can give me? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, if you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. If you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the camera is full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're standing down the barrel of a shotgun. Yep, so he can actually give us the skill point in fighting if you say, can you teach me how to fight? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this. You keep your body at an angle. It's a hard to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Yay, so just words give us another point. So thanks for all the help, Nines. LA is the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in the barbecue. Once yes. you swear things with the Croy, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Okie dokie. So, while I do find pure anarchy to be a little silly sometimes, because pure anarchy, well, it, it depends on the size of the region, I suppose, but mm, it, there are obviously some flaws, but, like, over time, I've grown to, like, at least minor anarchy more. 
or at least less government involvement, less federal involvement over what people can do, which I've always found funny that living here in the United States, the Republicans are supposed to stand for less government government involvement, but there's so many things that they do that require more government involvement, like their stance on gay marriage, that's that's, that's a lot more government involvement than uh, or am I, oh okay, I'm going to the the club, right? That's a lot more government involvement than than is necessary, you know? That kind of thing. But anyway, they're pretty cool. What we want to do now, now that Skelter gave us the quest to go find Patty at the club confession, is we want to go to confession, which is right over there. There's Venus, which Fat Larry told us about. She is also in here, so we're gonna go take care of Patty. Get some quests from Venus, and then head to these hotels, which are straight ahead. See, I'm, I'm doing all these quests at once, so there is a lot of talking at this point. But that's because I'm getting all the quests at one time so that I can turn them in all at once, and I don't have to, like, keep going back to the same places and, and all that jazz. So here she is. <laughs> I knew you talked to me. I swear, oh. you were all, like, totally Fuck you. to me. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the L.A. vampires out on the scene. <laughs> Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. I want to hurt you. Okay. No idea what you're talking no, about. come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously. <laughs> Everyone knows me. I want to hurt you. I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. All right. Who? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really well. Like all Prada, usually. I do. I've, I saw him recently, he Patty. Totally awesome. Now, it just goes to show you that you don't have to dress cool hey, or have a lot of suit. power to be a cool person. This is Armani. It's Armani suit. I have Armani on the phone, okay? Alright. So you can, you have three options here. To get, oh my god, that face. Look at that face! What is wrong with her mouth? Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with her face? Oh my god. Okay, anyway. You have three options. One, you can tell her, you can actually lure her over to Pisha at the hospital. You can tell her to go to the angry, or to the, sorry, to the alley where you can kill her in private. Or you can persuade her to go to San Diego, which gives you a humanity bonus, I think. I hate her, so I'm going to send her to Pisha, because Pisha's hungry. Oh, that is totally Ken. He's so like that. I better go find him. He needs my help to do anything. Thanks again. <sighs> yes, you lose humanity for that, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't. Alright, and here's Venus. Everybody comes in this got to have a shot has rules. Inhibition, the first thing to go. Two more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beef hostess, and it's time to confess. Hmm. Who, who are you? Venus was her name. No, it's what your name. You Who's... To confess? Okay, you told me her name, but what's your name? Larry mentioned Larry? me? Larry? Oh, so you're the <laughs> Action Jackson. You were yes. Oh, That's me. Yeah. I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Mm, sounds safe. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, very third. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. <gasps> Sounds simple. Mm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel. Tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind. <laughs> Don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the Beat Priestess. Later, darling. I bet I know why they call you the Beat Priestess. Some beating going on. Alright. <laughs> oh. This game just is loaded with innu innuendos. You can't help it. You just... It's not my fault. I don't. You know me, guys. I don't usually make innuendo jokes, but like you, you got to do it sometimes in this game. You can't help it. Oh, also, also, are they back here? Yeah, check it out. Beach town. It might have been a little dark to see that, but if you saw it, oh, 
fun stuff goes on in this game. It's not all misery in this game. Some people, some people have fun, you know?